what's going on people all right guys i just tried doing a live video probably got through like seven or eight minutes of it but it was buffering <coughs> so bad that it was just going to be a quality control issue it would be all fuzzy and it started like skipping and my voice was getting all crazy so um i'm just going to go straight at it with a video here guys um we're going to do the milwaukee pack out versus the dewalt tough system just to let you know, just to start, these are both great systems, and it's really not one is better than the other, it's what one is better for you. Um, you know, since the DeWalt Tough System has been out two or three years now, uh, obviously the price has come down, there's currently a promo going on uh, before the pack out will be released on October 1st. Um, I believe you can get the large, medium, and the small, this is just a large with no wheels. And I got another large right there. Um, but you can get a small, medium, and a large box. Uh, I think it's 129 Okay, but, you know, when they first came out, they were, you know, tremendously more money. I want to say the, the, the small box, and this was before the wheels even came out. The, the, before, when this first came out, this tough system, real quick, I do a little little saga of the the years of the the wall tough system um and you can still get it they kind of have like a trolley system um that's why you have these metal bars in the back here these metal bars they go down and it kind of slides in there uh within the past year i believe last november or october the wall came out with a box with um wheels already attached um you know, great idea. So, you know, I think without it being on sale, I mean, I got this on sale when it first came out. I think it was like 59 bucks. okay? But I think the regular price is like 79 It might even be more than that, but we're going to go with the promo price. Now, again, I always say, guys, this is awesome. And I know a lot of you guys have commented, you can't wait, you're going to get it. And that's awesome. If you need it, get it, you know. But if it's something that you don't really need so much and you kind of more just want it, I would start very small. Again, what Milwaukee did with this system, you know, these systems have been out, whether from Bosch. And Bosch might have been the first, you know, they all kind of came out at the same time. You had Makita, which is not really one of my favorites. Um, I don't even own one of them. I have played with it a little bit and you know saw it and stuff um it's very similar to the bosch just plastic wise it's just really a thin plastic and i and i like the bosch um l boxes that's what they're called it's a good system and it's a very large system um it's probably even bigger i mean they have a lot of different types of um of boxes <clears throat> but um you know the DeWalt separates itself from the Makita and the Bosch by the plastic, by the material. Um, a real thick resin plastic, um, just tough grade, and I'm so happy. And, you know, kind of obvious, because this DeWalt Tough System, and Rigid kind of has the same thing. And, and the, you know, we're talking about the different ones, 129 I know at times, and it might even be now, but Rigid also has, I believe, a small, medium, and a large box. Uh, I think it's $99. So there's a lot of uh, variety. There's a lot of selection in this you know, mobile storage category for you guys. Um, again, this is more of a comparison of what you're going to get. Now, I'm not going to go nuts talking about the money part because I don't think that's fair. Um, because, again, this has been out a while. It's on sale. But we're going to look at them. We're going to compare them. But, again, price does mean something. Um, you know, we're, like I said, we're talking 129 for the three boxes with the Milwaukee. And, like I said, if you don't really need it, I'm sure at some point there will be a promotion on these packouts. Again, you might not want to wait. You can't wait. Go get it. It's worth it. It's a great system. It's, guys... Before I even get into it, this Milwaukee system, it's just better than the better than the DeWalt. All right, 
there's no if ands or buts about it now if you want to say yeah you know it just came out this has been out for three years you can say that um but the quality and the construction of these boxes and these totes <clears throat> excuse me is is absolutely amazing but let's start talking about it because i just spent five minutes kind of just explaining stuff that's why i wanted to do it live because when I go live, I'll spend an hour and answering questions and just talking and yapping and singing and dancing. Um, I got the power station on here. Uh, that's what's great about the Tough System also. And I'm going to talk about another um, box real quick. This is going to be a long video, guys, un unfortunately. And you can skip through it if you want. You know, I mean, whatever you got to do. But for me to explain everything and you know me i take time and unfortunately i got to get all my points across or i don't feel like i did a good job so but there's also a radio you guys know about it um very popular it's probably one of the best sounding radios out there um it also can attach to the tough system um and now also now i had this and it it was so bad and it was such a great idea from the wall and I was so upset that I couldn't keep it. But again, one of you guys might have it. You might not have any issues, and that's great. But, and I think it's still available. I don't really see it. You might have a hard time buying it, but they had a box with two drawers. It was a little button. It was would have been freaking great. Um, I loved it. I had it for like two weeks. Um, it was always a pain in the neck to open it. I could not open it without having a heart attack. I started going crazy. I could not open this freaking thing. And then trying to close it and, and open it again. I had all my, my my screwdrivers in there and I was in there and I could never open it. I went nuts. Um, I went on YouTube. Now, this is probably one of my first videos I ever did, like two years ago. And um, you know, I'm like, what's going on? I looked and I saw other people were having the same issues with it. Um, so I made a video about it saying how terrible it was just opening it and closing it. I couldn't do it. Finally, I said, screw this, man. I'm not spending it. It was like $79. It was the same price as their big box. So, um, you know, for the money, I'm like, I'm not keeping this box. So there is also a box. Again, this is not the medium box. This I have a large here. I have a large there. I have a large on my trailer that's been there. This is the third season. I'm going to spend one second just to show you. Um, I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen it. I'm not going to spend too much time on it. But this has been on my trailer for three years. I jackknifed into the freaking thing. Um, I got some electrical tape. I'm sure I can make it a little bit better. I tried gluing it. I have all kinds of crazy stuff in there. And it works. And I did that like two and a half. I, I probably jackknifed into this thing the first four months at the end of my first season and I was so upset and I thought I did damage to my car but I didn't but um it's been through snow wind hail rain blizzards hurricanes everything and it's it's awesome not I never got water in there uh this one thing and this could be because of the jackknife but I don't think so you know the one bad thing it's not, I'm gonna even say bad um but you know when you got you got screws here you know you kind of got screws connecting it and I'm so surprised that it's held up as good as it has again this is just it's always out in the Sun obviously it's been sun bleached uh, to a point but not really that bad um, but you know obviously the yellow now if I flip this you'll see a real bright yellow I'm sure well not a real bright yellow but and this is even faded a little bit, but I mean, everything works on this thing. I've never got water in here. The clips, like I said, this one really works fine. Now, this one, it's a little shady. Doesn't really, but that could be because of jackknife. I'm sure that's what it is, but it's been awesome for me and my company. Like I said, I got all kinds of supplies in here. It's got a little place where you could put a padlock. It's been awesome. So the DeWalt Tough system is a great, great system. And I would recommend it to anybody. And it's really not difficult to recommend it at $129 right now. You know, for the small, medium, and large box. Okay? But, I think, obviously, the Milwaukee is 
But I think obviously the Milwaukee is a more complete system. There's totes, there's organizers. Now DeWalt also has another system that's very similar to the tough system. It's not as high grade, um, but or heavy duty. But it's also a system, and they do have like organizers, kind of. But we're talking about the tough system here. Again, you might not need totes. It might not be something that's important to you. You have the Dewalt. You have the rigid. You have the L-box system. Um, you know, the Makita. Um, I might have to close this freaking thing here, but um, you know, the organizers are great. Um, and this is just the first. You know. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Milwaukee adds to this whole pack out system, kind of just like DeWalt did. You know, they got radios, you got a power station that can hook up to it. But, you know, just talking about it, um, you know, you guys have probably seen the video of a cinder block being dropped on the tough system. It cracked and it bounced right off the Milwaukee. Um, you know, you can tell plastic wise how hard and and strong that the milwaukee system is but let me tell you this is also a very tough thing listen you're gonna drop a cinder block on it you know you know come on let, let's be realistic it's it's gonna break and i'm sure maybe if you hit it at the right spot on this it would break but i don't know i don't i don't i, I think they did that test and it was a very fair test i don't think it was one of them Hey, we're going to put drop it at this point because we know this is the strongest point of the box and this is the weakest part of the DeWalt box. Um, but, you know, take it as, as you may. All right, so let's start talking a little bit about the construction of them. Obviously, we're not going to get into the totes too much because um, um, DeWalt doesn't offer them, but they exist. So if you're into, you know, whatever, your electrician, um, you know, a tradesman of any sort, you know, whatever. Um, and you want to put your, um, tools in some, um, like a, a tote where you can, you know, have a handle, you can carry, you can have easy access to everything. You got the zippers and all that stuff right off the bat. The Milwaukee should be, have a checklist. Uh, it's great. They have a small, medium and large. Again, this is brand new. If you can chill, and you know you know you want to get this system you decided you know what uh, the Milwaukee's going to work out better it's tougher i think um i like the way it um snaps in better than than the DeWalt and that's one checklist i'm going to also give the Milwaukee i'm going to go through some pros and cons you know i'm going to give the DeWalt check price all right construction Milwaukee check um lockability uh of the system uh, connecting the system to the system check I love the way and how easy this is with this it's not that it's hard but it's just the Milwaukee is a little bit better I like it um, obviously construction of it but we'll talk more about that also like I said it might be a little bit long of a video but so if you're looking at getting one of these totes again you can start with the system really small you can start with uh, you know an individual tote the small 59 bucks or whatever and, you know, put your screwdrivers, um, whatever your materials are, your electrician, you know, everything that you need to put in here. And this is locked in there right now, obviously. But, um, you know, buy it when something else comes on sale or maybe there's a 15% off coupon at Acme Tools. Bah boom I'm going now. I'm going to get the medium tote and the large tote. All right. You can do it like that. You can do the same thing with the DeWalt also, but, um, all right, so that's one, you know, issue if, or one pro. If, if you want to get totes, the Milwaukee has it. They also have these organizers, okay? Now, here's the tote. Again, I'm going to show you really how simple it is to, you know, take something, one of these off. Now, with this, I couldn't even do it with one hand. Obviously, I have one hand holding the camera, um, well, I guess you can do it with one hand, but it's a process, kind of. You got to, you know, unlock this. You got to pull that one off. And the one issue I do, you're, you're going to get with the DeWalt, if you have a lot of tools and there's a lot of weight in it, sometimes these will break apart. 
again you really just have a little skinny piece of plastic here that is really connecting them on I've had it at times it doesn't have to happen often but sometimes if it's weight and it, you kind of pull it off the wrong way or again you have weight moving around in your back of your truck because I use this a lot and I'm going to show you the way I kind of use it tomorrow because tomorrow is going to be really hot but um yeah so you would have to you know loosen it like that loosen it like that or maybe well this isn't really clicked on let me just move this down all right so you got to loosen it here and you got to loosen it here and then you can pull it off okay not really hard but you know it's a process one two not a big issue with this all you got to do pull up one hand boom, it comes right off and what's great about it with these totes you know you can carry it like this you can buy one of the small organizers and have it attached to your tote so not only do you have the tote you got your screwdrivers, tape measures, all your electrician tools, whatever you got going. You got it on this side. You got the zipper. You got the nice strap with the padded strap. And you can even put this on, you know, your shoulder with that small organizer um, attached to it. And you got your bits. You got whatever you're working with here. All your adapters or whatever and whatever, all your electrician stuff here. And... All you got to do to get this off is the same thing. You got a little red button right here. You just got to pull up. Real simple. And slide it. And it's off. Okay? So, not that the wall is tough, but it's a process type of thing. And then putting it back on again all right you want to put the wall back on you gotta find it put the handle down and you gotta snap that in and this one is usually harder but that went in pretty easy snap that in and you're ready to go not bad but with this one with one hand Ready? We'll try it again. You got it? Wee! Wee! Throw it on. Boom. So, not bad with the DeWalt, but it's a pro to this pack out. Um, you know, some people were waiting. What's going on? Well, you don't know how many comments I got, guys. Oh, when is Milwaukee coming out with a mobile store? This is baloney. I mean, God, it's been, these has been out two or three years already. You know, I'm, I'm kind of waiting. I haven't bought the DeWalt. I'm not waiting anymore, man. If this ain't coming out, you know, like next summer, I'm done. I'm buying the DeWalt Tough System. And I'm sure a lot of you guys might have did that. And I'm sure if you're a Milwaukee guy and you did do that, you're not upset with getting the DeWalt. It's a great, great system. So, I just want to make that clear. Okay, so let's look at the organizer now. Um, this is obviously the large organizer. Uh, we just looked at the small. Um, obviously, there's five trays in this one. This one has ten. It's pretty much double the size. You do get this little area here. I'll open it in a second. But uh, we looked at it last night. I put some nails in there. We shook it. We shaked it. We threw it. Shaked it upside down. And the nails were secured perfectly not one nail came out of its compartment or tray and um, just an airtight system alright so you get five trays like I said in here or compartments I'm gonna talk about the latching system in a second now this is the organizer so the wall obviously doesn't offer an organ small you do get six trays uh, mine are currently in my truck um, you know what it looks like. I don't think I'm going to go there and grab them, but there's six trays. I put actually I keep my batteries in them. My Milwaukee or my DeWalt. Uh, I keep them in my truck. Um, again, I use the Milwaukee outdoor power equipment. I use some DeWalt uh, with their blower sometimes. Um, so 
I keep them in there and then when I got to bring them in um, but I'm using the Milwaukee um, charger again um, I got other stuff we'll talk about I got some big plans going on but we'll worry about that later all right, so you got five trays on each side. You get two small, one large. Again, you can mishmash these any way you want. You want to put the large one up here. You can do that and put the small ones here. Uh, what? Again, it seems like Milwaukee just has something that separates it in every uh, box, every compartment, every tray. Uh, these trays, what makes them awesome is that you see there's little hinges on the back if you have nails or something like that thank you my daughter wanted me to have the silica gel because she's making a fort in the milwaukee pack out box it's such a big box she decided to make a fort but uh the milwaukee trays like i said you got these little hinges or grooves in there so if you got your nails in there you're working on a site you can just put a nail on the wall and now you're hanging them your uh, tray just a great idea the simplest easiest stuff uh, Milwaukee thought of with this again it came out uh, they really took their time designing it but they really seems like they didn't forget one thing um, you know to kind of separate it from the competitors and again a small thing but something that can help a lot of people save a lot of time so you got that uh, the DeWalt's do not have that option but you know again you have to in in reality of what you are going to buy if that means nothing to you you're never going to use it in that capacity the dewalt again or the rigid or the makita might be a better option uh you do have this area here we talked about it i have a thing here again you know you can throw whatever you want in there screwdrivers this is just to show you how much room you have in there um you know great idea these organizers again totally stackable um this is all stacked together um you could put the totes on this whatever you want to do um so i want to talk now about the latches okay so let's make sure everything is nice and tight in here okay so you got it right here now, the one thing that separates this, again, from the, the wall, okay? These hinges, not bad. Um, they, Like I said, my big box has been outside for years, and there's really not any issues. But that being said, it is stationary. It's really just out in the elements. I open and close it. It's not being transported. Um, couple buddies of mine and people I know have had this whole thing just pretty much break off over time you know opening it and closing it um, you know it could happen all right you got screws going into plastic um, it's a metal latching system again not that bad um, you know again share your experience it might have happened to you um, I haven't had any issues like that but I can definitely see it happening but you got, again, screws going into plastic, you know. With the Milwaukee system, you have a pin um, inside here, a, a metal pin or a metal rod that, you know, is really nothing screwed into the plastic. You got this nice heavy-duty thick metal uh, latch you connect, obviously, to the plastic, and you just push down just real it's so smooth and it's so easy you know to to work i just I, I really like it this you know it's not bad but it's you know it's metal i mean it's just i don't know it's it it seems you know and i do like the rigid one even better than this guys um the red the red the, the rigid is kind of like this it's not as heavy duty it's got a little bit thinner metal but it's kind of something like this um, you know again I think they use a pin I'm not sure about it I don't own the rigid I did we looked at it together on some videos but I like how they have that pin inside there um, you know just less chances of it coming apart and this the simple 
it's so simple. Um, so, again, that's up to you. That's just my opinion, talking about it. Again, these are just my opinions on some of the small things, guys. You might not agree. You might say it's stupid. Oh, that's just, just I like this better. All right, hey, listen. Everyone has an opinion, right? And this is mine, okay? Um, and I said, I do like the DeWalt very, very, very much. Very much. But, you know, we're talking about this. Okay. So we talked about a couple of the major things. You know, we talked about the latches. Um, putting the boxes on and off again. I think this is just so much easier. Again, one hand, you can take it on and off. We talked about it. Ready? All right. All right that's it. One hand. And if I want, I can put it back on. One hand. Ready? So it's, just, it's on there. You just push. Click. Again, if I want to take this off, I got to unlatch this side. I got to unlatch that side. And, you know, I can pull it off. Not, you know, not a game changer, but I just love this system. All right. So obviously the DeWalt doesn't have a organizer so now we're going to get to the boxes and I'm sorry like I said it's going to be a long video but I want you guys to make the right decision when you're looking at these boxes okay so okay so now we're going to talk about the actual mobility of the system uh, the way you're going to transport it the transmobility of each system and I think you know, this is where the Milwaukee um, packout really separates itself from the tough system. You know, we talked about, you know, taking the uh, boxes on and off, um, the latches, what I like better, you know, small stuff, really not a game changer. Um, again, I think the plastic and I think the ease of stackability with the Milwaukee, you know, is, is better. Is it a hundred dollars better? That's something you have to kind of think and analyze in your own head. But when it comes to actually being able to transport your tools, I think this is where the Milwaukee really separates itself. Okay, so again, when this system first came out, you didn't have this um, big box or large box with the wheels. You had to buy a trolley. Again, there's still metal here. Um, where you would kind of set it up, you can lock it. Um, but since this came out last year, they took all that. I mean, you can still buy the trolley. I think it's still available, and that's like 130 bucks. It might even be more than that. So that was the big problem with this tough system before this came out last year. Was you know you really had no way to transport it mobily, like with wheels, until this came out. I mean, you you could. But you're talking about like $300 then for this system. You know, you had to buy the small box, which was like 69 bucks. Then you had the medium box, like 79 bucks, And the large box without any wheels was like 89 bucks. Again, you could buy the whole thing now for $129 with the wheels. But again, it's been out for a while. Prices change after they've been out a while and all. Um, but, you know, you had to use that trolley, which was like $150. Bucks. Um, but again, I want to show you the big difference here. So the way that you get this handle to move up and down, again, I got one hand, but you just got this little plastic piece. Again, get a lot of metal exposed with the tough system. You got a metal rod here and to connect the wheels uh, to the system, you have an exposed metal rod also. So there's no metal exposed on the pack out system at all. The only metal exposed is, are these reinforced uh, metal or aluminum um, supports that are on the uh, small, medium, and large packout box. But, uh, like I said, if you want to move this up or down, you got this little yellow plastic uh, tab. And all you got to do is just push down. And now I'm going to push down. And it just really goes crazy and slides down all right locks it in place if I want to move it up let's see let's look at the cat 
Kitty, 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 kitty. All right, and if you want to move it up, you got to push it down, and I'm going to try to, I'm going to have to trust me on it. But once you press that down, you can just push it up. Again, I'm the only one. I'm the cameraman. I, was, I intended to do this live, but I had so many questions. Since I put the pack out video up, private questions, Instagram, what one do you like better? So I just figured I'd do it right now, today, just gunning it, no editing, baboom. So again, that's your way to move the handle on the DeWalt up or down, okay? Again, I have one hand here, okay? So... You're seeing how difficult it kind of is with one hand. It's not really that difficult, but I kind of have to get my phone and I gotta now I gotta drop whatever I'm doing. Okay, with the Milwaukee, you just got a button right here. All right, you just press it. Boom. Okay, to move it up. It's that simple, guys. Again, a very small difference. Um, but you're you're starting to add all these small things up, all right? Um, it's just a better system. Um, you got some nice rubber overmold here on the handle, what gives it a nice, you know, comfortable. You know, you're going to be transporting this a lot. It's going to be real heavy. You got a lot of tools in these boxes, a lot of weight to have that nice rubber overmold. Just a little comfort feature. Again, you might not care, but they do offer it with this. If you don't have that. You just got the plastic, you know, handle. Now, um, all right, so we talked about that. Now, like I said, let me just put this down. Okay. Now, like we talked about, uh, with the tires and the wheels, you have a metal rod that connects the wheels. It's exposed. Um, over time, you know, what I find myself doing all the time is to tip it back. So let me actually bring this up to, to, you know, you just can't, there's a lot of weight in here. There's a lot of weight. You kind of have to put your foot there. So over time, putting your foot in that metal rod, you know, you got heavy work boots and you're kicking it, whatever. You got, you know, 250 pound guy. Again, it probably won't happen, but it could happen. All right. It's, I'm just trying to tell you the difference and how much easier and more heavy duty the Milwaukee is in my opinion again. These are not you know major things, but with the Milwaukee You have a little foot area so you can tip it. It's like a little foot plate So you got your handle here And it's so smooth bringing this up when you bring this to wall up. It's very You know uh, It'll come up sometimes and it'll be like hard to push it down But it'll go down and it doesn't this just really glides again go to the store try it yourself if you don't believe me you know I'm not you know playing favorites here that's why I have a channel to give you my opinion on what I think is best or my pros or cons of a system or a tool over another one this I think up and down definitely the Milwaukee wins you got a, a rubber over mold we talked about that you got a foot plate here like I said um, real simple, just put your foot, bam. Um, so, and the major thing, obviously, is the tires. Um, as you see here, um, they're not bad, guys. Um, but obviously, bigger is better. Um, when you're bringing it upstairs, or you're on the work site, job site, you're in dirt. You know, not only are these tires bigger, um, you have tread on these tires you know you don't really have anything on these dewalt to have these bigger tires i'm telling you when you have weight in these things you're going to notice such a difference guys um you know if you don't really plan on using it as a mobile system um you know it's something that might not make a big difference you know um you know as you're looking at the large box we're going to look inside them real quick but i mean just the supports and the way this box was designed um it is just so strong guys um and you're gonna see people make videos and probably drop cinder blocks just like you know the milwaukee people did and stuff you're gonna see stuff stuff like that i'm sure 
And there might be people that, hey, man, I'm backing up to the wall. Look, I can do it too. You know, it's good to do your research. Um, I'm just showing you obvious differences between them and facts. Um, and thank God I didn't do this video live because I think I'm on like 25 minutes already. And if I was answering questions and acting dopey and crazy like I normally do in my live videos, this might have been a two hour video. Um, but okay, so again, we just talked about it, but I'm going to mention it again. You got these um, supports, um, aluminum supports on each box. You, so you got four of them on each box. Obviously, with the small box, it's a smaller one. You get to the medium box, it's a little bit bigger. And on the large box, you just have two. You have one on each side in the front. Uh, the reason being is because the way that the... Um, the wheels and the uh, mobility um, aspects of it, you know, it's it's all supported with this area right here, and you got your metal there and on each side. So in order to, you know, transport it from place to place, so they couldn't fit it, and obviously your wheels here, and if you put a metal here, you wouldn't have no wheels. So, um, yeah. So yeah, as you see with the Dewalt. You know, not bad. It's definitely a strong, tough system. You know, all I really have to say, guys, is it's been out in the elements for three years. So you know it works. And it's not really about longevity with the two boxes. Because I'll be honest with you, I think if you get this system, this will probably last you a long time. And this will last you a long time. It's the little things that I'm talking about. Um, you know, besides the wheels, I think that's a huge advantage and obviously having a foot plate, it's just a more refined system, guys, plain and simple. Not, it's, it's better to use. It's easier to use. It's more comfortable to use. Um, the, the handles are just, you know, you got some rubber over molds on, 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 on the handles. Um, but this, the, the wall, you don't, um, this you can't leave up. It snaps back down. Automatically, there's a pin. This one, if you want to leave it up, you can leave it up. You want to leave it halfway, you can leave it halfway. You want to put it away, you can put it away. So, you know, that's that's up to you. So, okay, let's take a look at the big box or the mobile box. Again, you might not need um, all those other attachments to the system. You might just want one mobile storage box. Um, again, you might not need totes, organizers, you might not need a power station, uh, a radio, small, large, medium box, you just want one. Um, you know, we talked about the handle uh, to raise and lower it all along the construction, I think is much better with the Milwaukee. We talked about the DeWalt, there's an exposed bar here, um, um, and to raise it, you got to kind of press down on it, a little awkward. To raise it up or down again not a game changer uh, we talked about the Milwaukee um, there's no bar exposed everything is you know one solid piece here uh, to raise it up or down you just press a button real simple we talked about the handle got a rubber over mold here to add some comfort to it you don't have that with the the wall uh, we talked about the latches I just think it's a better design with the Milwaukee um, you know you have a pin system uh, for the latch um, with the wall, you kind of have a you have a screw that holds the latch into place. It's right there, as you can see. Um, could come loose over time. Um, could you know snap? Uh, I'm not saying that you might not have problems with the Milwaukee, but again, my opinion, I just like this better. Uh, real simple. You just boom, boom, it comes down. Um, you know kind of have a little awkward thing with the, the wall you kind of have to use you know two hands not two hands but two two motions again this is just like a snap and it releases um, not a game changer okay um, with the, the wall on this looking you got a handle up top you don't have that with the um, Milwaukee so that is a pretty good you know advantage for some people um, you know, you might want a handle on top. You don't get one with the Milwaukee, just to let you know. Um, you do get a handle on the sides. We get two. Again, I think the side handles are better on the Milwaukee. Um, you know, we talked about the DeWalt. You know, 
There's no way to leave it open. There might be a time, believe me, millions and millions of times uh, or, or thousands of times you use this. At some point, you might have to have this open. And I think with the Milwaukee being able to place it wherever you want, I think that's an advantage. Again, not a game changer. You have a rubber overmold on the handle on the side. You do not with the DeWalt, um, but you do get that. Um, handle up top with the DeWalt that you do not get with the Milwaukee. Uh, we talked about the uh, construction of it. Um, what's really great about the pack out is, you know, these are heavy boxes. You know, these are big. You know, these are the mobile ones. You're going to have a lot of heavy stuff in here. You know, you might have it in a corner. With this, it might be hard to kind of move it forward. There's really nothing to grab. You know, obviously, you can kind of get both hands. Um, and you know pull it forward or push it back. What's great about the Milwaukee is you got this little handle here You can lift up you can do it all with one hand um, You know just a, a, a great idea um, You have a lock available on both of them again. This is just exposed plastic what everything is made out of you got a little bit of uh, metal on the Milwaukee again not a game changer, but you do have it um, we talked about the support um, areas on the uh, Milwaukee you got this aluminum um, support on each side again the small and medium boxes have four points the large box just has two obviously in the back you have your wheels so you cannot have these supports um, you don't have that with the DeWalt again might not be a big deal for you uh, we talked about the wheels no doubt you got tread uh, they're much bigger on the Milwaukee, um, kind of cheap and chintzy on the DeWalt. I mean, you can see the size difference. Um, you know, that I think, like, uh, like I um, talked about, I think that is really the big difference between these two systems is the transportability, um, the mobility, being able to just move it much better, more weight, um, you know, not having a bar exposed. In the back, you have a little foot area to tip it on the Milwaukee. Um, again, might not mean much to you, but I think that's a big difference. Um, Size-wise, I think you can tell the Milwaukee is a little bit bigger. Uh, you can get full specs on the sizes. Um, we'll just talk about that. When we talk about it, you get a tray in each of them. Uh, the tray in the Milwaukee is much better quality. Um, here's the um, DeWalt one, real thin plastic um, handle, kind of chintzy here, and very small. As you can see, the um, Milwaukee is half the size, but the handle is twice as big, or maybe even three times as big. Again, really thin. Uh, you got a real thick plastic handle on the Milwaukee. Um, you know, much deeper than the DeWalt. The DeWalt is bigger, but you, it takes up space. That's why I don't keep this in here. Um, it just, it goes down so much. And with the Milwaukee, you can obviously not, you know, you can remove it also, but at least you have an area where you can, you know, put some higher, you can stack it up at a more high capacity than with the DeWalt, because it takes up the entire top. So if you want to use this, you're going to lose some, you know, some capacity. Um, you're going to lose some with the Milwaukee also, but obviously you have at least one side where you can go up um, with more stuff. Um, as you can tell, excuse me, um, we looked at it last night, the amount of stuff that you can fit in there. Again, uh, the DeWalt uh, also is a um, big it's it's a it's a pretty deep box again you know you really have to look at the specs um, it seems you know the one thing is with the DeWalt okay it's pretty much a box okay square box um, with the Milwaukee you do have um, the uh, wheel wells uh, that come through to the inside of the box Okay, so you know that's one thing to think about. Um, you know, 
I'm trying to look. You know, the Milwaukee is higher, so it, it might equal out. Let me just get it up to you. And you can tell, and you know, anyone who has the tough system, you got to remember, this mobile box from the from the wall is not as thick of plastic as the tough system. Okay, the tough system box. Now this is a tough system box. Okay, but if you look at the grade of plastic in the big box, it's much thicker. Okay, than it is in their mobile. Um, box you know the one with the wheels um, it's just a thinner plastic for some reason I don't know if they did that for a reason but it's not the same thickness that the small medium and large box um, has um, you know definitely I'd probably say I don't know it's probably double the size double it's the thickness is probably double compared to the, the thickness of their mobile box you know I uh, could be off I mean just an estimation there's no doubt that the plastic in the Milwaukee is of stronger quality uh, you don't notice it as much with um, the small medium and large box again this is their mobile box so they really have you know like I said they have a draw box also there's like five different boxes you can get with the DeWalt. It's not just, you know, a small, medium, and large like the Milwaukee. You know, they have a draw box we talked about. Um, they have a large, medium, and small, and then they have this box. So, um, just want to let you know about that. Um, like I said, it is higher. It's probably hard to tell from the video. I don't know. Maybe half an inch. I think it's about similar, you know, I got stuff in here. Let me take it, take it out And then we can kind of see you know what we'll do. Let's see some We're gonna do some yeah, real quick And we'll see what we can fit in here Okay, so let me take this out of here It is like a hundred and ten degrees All right, so we know we can kind of fit the 20 volt chainsaw in the DeWalt box. You gotta put it in on an angle. Obviously, it ain't gonna sit down flush on the bottom, but you know, it'll get in there. Let's see if we can get it in. Okay, so I think it definitely, I mean, it, it fits in both boxes. Yeah, it fits in there pretty much the same in both boxes. Kind of comes up to the top. Um, like I said, you can look at the spec. It's it's very close, guys. I just want you to see. You know, like I said, you have an, um, the the two wheel wells on each side that come into it. You have this little lower area. Um, this is probably where the uh, bar from each wheel goes to. Um, and you have that little area right here. Where you have uh, that little handle, that metal handle. So, you know, there is um, some contraction. There is some, you know, some areas where you're going to lose some space, it looks like, in the Milwaukee. Um, you know, but it is a deep box. I don't want to give that impression. Like I said, the DeWalt is more pretty much a square box. Um, so, you know, you might, I don't know, it just, it looks like the Milwaukee's bigger, but I don't see how it can be. But again, look at the specs, um, and go on Milwaukee and DeWalt's, uh, website, and you'll be able to, um, to really, you know, analyze both of the, uh, specs and see what one fits best for you. But the Milwaukee looks, I don't know what it is, it could just be, you know, you know, a false, you know, a false appearance, but, so yeah, so that's pretty much it, guys, um, you know, the DeWalt is definitely a, a nice system, guys, um, you know, I don't want to take anything away, 
and if you're on a budget there is a pretty big price difference right now um, again if it's something that you don't need right now um, you know you can start small get a tote get an organizer or just get the mobile box um, you know this is 129 for this um, the mobile big box the one with the wheels and the handle um, this I believe is 79 bucks um, might be on sale now for less than that um, I've seen it as high as 99 bucks or 89 bucks so you know there is a major price difference anywhere from 50 to 40 you know 30 to 50 dollars um, even on sale like I said 59 bucks it could be even as low as 70 dollars but this just came out uh, I'm sure there's gonna have you know some deals and if you want to buy there is a um, you can get the small medium and large box uh, I think it's 279 bucks uh, we talked about the DeWalt right now there's a sale I think it's 129 bucks 129 bucks for their small medium and large again that's a hundred and fifty dollar price difference it is on sale but again it's something to consider but that being said, if you're looking for a better designed mobile storage system that has an organizer, that has totes, um, you know, and it's a better made, I think it's a better quality made system, um, you know, we talked about the advantages of it, whether it be the tires, uh, the handle, um, you know, the, the, the clips, the reinforcements on it. Um, you know a cinder block dropping on it um, but it's just a little bit more refined and it is newer so let's you know this has been out for like three years this box has only been out a year though but all together you know this just came out who knows the Walt might come out and kind of refresh their tough system who knows but this as it is um, the pack out I think definitely is a better system but again you have to make the choice or you have to make the decision on whether it's worth the extra money but if money isn't an issue there is really no doubt about it so any comments or questions let me know um, we just got this sucker in today we're gonna have some fun with it it's the 20 volt the wall brushless 12 inch chainsaw I cannot wait. So we're going to do some cutting with it. We'll compare it to the Makita 36 volt. Um, I think this is going to blow it away. But that's it. Any comments, questions, let me know. I know it was a long video, but I wanted to get detailed. I wanted to, you know, go over as much stuff as I can to kind of separate it, um, the information for you. But thanks for watching. Again, any comments, questions, let me know. We'll catch you on the next one.